the National Student Financial Aid Scheme, NSFAS, is calling on more than 63,000 students who've received funding to sign loan agreements before the end of this month. Those who fail to do so could forfeit their loans completely. The funds are paid directly to the university or training college and cover academic residents and other student costs. Now, to talk more about the issue, we are joined by Victor Rambao, uh, NSFAS Head of Business Enablement. A very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Why is it so important for students to sign their loan agreements before the end of this month? Well, firstly, it is important for students to know what they're getting themselves into. Because when you sign, sign a loan agreement, you're acknowledging the mm -hmm. debt. If you're getting a loan, if it's a buzzer, you're also acknowledging the grant that you're receiving from the government. Now, students need to know how much are they getting for tuition, for accommodation, food and transport. And this is both for universities and Tibet college students. That's the first thing. Secondly, as NSFAS, we, we cannot advance money when there's no one who has acknowledged that I yeah. am the recipient for this money. And, and this is a big challenge for us. What, what happens if the agreements are not signed by, by students? So, look, if you look at NSFAS as an entity, we, we limit it mm -hmm. with regards to funds that we have. Now, students who are not signing, if they don't need that money, we can then direct it to those that need it. Yeah. So, if you're not going to sign as we've uh, given the deadline, we'd like to redirect this money to students who are deserving. And the deadline for the agreements? The, the, the deadline we've scheduled uh, the 31st of May, but I think it is important for us to give context as to mm. why the deadline of the 31st of May. A student who will sign on the, who will receive a line and a left stop on the 29th of, of May, we're not expecting that student to sign on the 31st of May. The students that we're calling on to sign before the 31st of May, these are students who have received these loan agreements a month ago and some mm -hmm. you know, two months ago. So we, we're pleading to students to say, 31st of May, if you're not acknowledging that you, you want mm. these funds, we'll then need to move them to other students. Students, they planned a march to your headquarters uh, uh, last week. Just uh, tell us, did this march take place? And, and what, were, what were the demands of the students? Yes, the march did uh, took place. Uh, you know, critical to their demands were they, they wanted allowances paid mm. directly to them. Uh, secondly, they actually want this, this money to be paid. And, and we're saying... You know, there's a sequencing of events here. You mm. sign the loan agreement, then we'll pay the, 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 uh, the, the loan. With regards to us paying the loan or the allowances directly to you, we do have a system that we started to roll out. Certain universities are still receiving allowances on behalf of students, mm -hmm. but where the system is actually working, we then pay directly to students. Lastly, as you would recall last year, the call for free education, and uh, part of the yeah. submission in the memorandum is they would want free education. Have you any... Have you any experience of paying monies directly to students in the past and how did that play out? We, we, we've had experiences of paying money directly to students. There are those that are responsible enough to use money for what its mm. intended purpose is and there are those who receive money and use it for different purposes. But maybe let's start for, uh, you know, with those that use money for the right purpose. Mm. When we pay, students will go and buy textbooks, they will go and buy groceries where there's a need for them to buy groceries. Your, your teacher students and medical students who are expected to go and do training, they'll use transport money to mm. go and do training. And there are those that are not responsible, where students will wait for you know, parents who want to do shopping at shops like ShopRite Check Us and Pick and Pay mm -hmm. and offer to pay with their vouchers in the exchange of cash. And immediately when that happens, they move and go to tops and they buy alcohol. And we're saying, if you really deserve and you want this money to advance yourself from an education point of view, Rather, yeah. you use this money for its intended purpose. Yeah, that is a, a genuine challenge. Just to give us an idea: how many how many students have have you been have you have you covered in this year as NSFAS? So this year as NSFAS, we're looking at funding uh, 465,000 students. It's an improvement. 465,000. Yes, it's an improvement from last year. We were sitting at uh, 408,000. How many students do we have on all our campuses? Is it? 600,000 or is it? No, it's, it's more than that. Much more than uh, that. I'm only referring to oh. NSFAS funded students. Yeah. yeah. The, we always have extensions in South Africa with any deadlines, it seems. Uh, if there are those that fall outside of this, will we see, will we see extensions after the deadline? From where we were sitting, we don't want to extend the deadline. Mm -hmm. But we need to acknowledge there are different cases which you will need to look at the merit yeah. of the case and, and you need to engage on those to, to the detail where you both parties will be satisfied. 
But we don't want to leave that as the norm and say, look, there will be an extension. Because critical mm. to this is those 63,000 students, if you don't need that funding, yeah. we can give it to other 63,000 students. And, and that's the call that we're making. I want to talk about forfeiting loans. Yep. Those that will be forfeiting loans, who are they? So if you have not signed your loan agreement, yeah. which is money that currently is waiting for you to sign so that we can pay the university for textbooks, we give it to you, accommodation and mm -hmm. also food. If you don't sign, you will forfeit that loan. We'll then redirect it to others. Well, Victor, I wish you well in this process. Thank you for coming in today. Victor Mba is NSFAS's Head of Business Enablement. Of course, we're talking about the deadline for students to sign their loan agreements. And that deadline, of course, is, uh, well, the end of this month. It is. And only special cases will there be, well, arrangements made.